To me, the BMW X5 has always been about doing the impossible. SUVs shouldn't be this fast. They shouldn't feel so good when you drive them. And they certainly shouldn't be able to corner like this, almost like a sports sedan. And now it can add one more thing to that list. It shouldn't be able to drive without burning any gas. Yet here I sit inside the new BMW X5 this week, and it's got a charging port on the side of it. You can plug it in, charge it up, and drive up to 14 miles before the gas engine kicks in, BMW says. Granted, that's not a big electric range, but it is enough for short school runs or grocery trips. And the thing that impresses me most about this car is not that it's designed as a gas-saving car. I mean, it starts over 62 grand to start with, so it's not really aimed at people wanting to save a few bucks at the Exxon station. But even more than that, it's fast and it's fun. BMW says it can go 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds, and I believe it. That even felt a little bit conservative to me after driving it for a week. Feels really quick from the driver's seat. As for the handling, yes, you can feel the added weight from the batteries and the electric motor, but it's still wonderfully balanced, wonderfully tuned. It remains one of the best handling cars in this class, which is exactly what you expect from something with a BMW badge on the hood. Unfortunately for BMW, there's some new competition this year from the Volvo XC90, which also comes as a plug-in hybrid that's so good I'd sell my kids to get it. But as I see it, the Volvo appeals to my logical side. It's got my brain, but the BMW has my heart. It's a much more exciting car. You know, it's kind of a car that you make an emotional connection with. The X5 starts at $54,700, and the plug-in hybrid version that I drove starts at $62,100.